With Nigel Spackman dropped for having an unliverpool like go at his unliverpool like boss Trevor Francis, all it needed was another unliverpool like performance. Glenn Hussein's clumsy challenge on Falco got proceedings underway. Don't be fooled by the look of innocence, that usually means guilty as charged. The defence counsel would have struggled to make a case out of that one. Paul Wright's penalty technique, right out of the Franny Lee school. Now, how John Barnes finished up on the losing side in this one is a complete mystery to me. Danny Maddox probably panicked a little bit when he saw the Barnes left shaping up to do a typical piece of damage. And that was a most definite penalty. The Barnes technique, right out of the James Dean school. Now, Rangers hit back with this poor right free kick. It was actually deflected off McMahon, making it very difficult for Grobelard. 2-1. Difficult to understand him at the best of times, but you probably get the gist. Barnes was terrific, teasing, twisting. McMahon's header. Rush, save of the season. David Seaman, absolutely brilliant. Ian Rush hadn't scored for seven games now. He'll never come closer than this. Rangers stretch their lead. Andy Sinton's powerful run, setting up Mark Falco for the goal of the game. Tee it up, out with the driver. Thank you very much. Now, what would Kenny do now? Liverpool weren't finished, though. Barnes, outnumbered by three to one, still managed to pull them back into it. But Rangers hung on, much to the delight uh, of Mrs. Helen Francis and the tastiest celebration scenes we've seen on the match all season. Spot a lipstick on the collar there, Trevor, I think.